Beneath the ocean's surface, a silent war is brewing, and the stakes couldn't be higher. U.S. Navy nuclear submarines, the ultimate stealth weapons, are a nightmare for adversaries like China, capable of crippling fleets without warning. But China isn't standing still. It's investing in cutting-edge anti-submarine warfare ASW technologies to expose and counter these silent predators. From advanced detection tools to amphibious assault ships, China's moves could shift the balance of power in the Pacific. How does this impact global security, and what does it mean for future conflicts? Let's dive deep into this game-changing arms race. Under the surface of the world's oceans, U.S. Navy nuclear-powered submarines, especially the Virginia class, operate as stealthy sentinels. These vessels are masterpieces of engineering, virtually undetectable and equipped with advanced weaponry that includes torpedoes, cruise missiles, and anti-ship missiles. Their stealth capability enables them to remain hidden for extended periods, making them a critical asset in modern naval warfare. What makes these submarines uniquely effective is their ability to strike from the shadows. In a conflict over Taiwan, for example, their role would be to silently stalk and dismantle any advancing Chinese amphibious fleet. This stealth capability means that U.S. submarines can remain near hostile waters, disrupt supply chains, and launch surprise attacks, all while evading detection. This is why they're often considered the most formidable threat to any adversary's navy. China has acknowledged this vulnerability. According to Chinese state media, U.S. submarines pose a significant challenge to the People's Liberation Army Navy, particularly in the South China Sea. The iPhone News site has described these submarines as the single greatest threat to China's naval ambitions, more so than U.S. aircraft carriers. This concern is not unfounded. American submarines are supported by a network of advanced sensors and communication systems, allowing them to coordinate with other naval assets for maximum effectiveness. However, their strength is also their Achilles heel. The same silence that makes them undetectable can become a liability if countered effectively. This is where China's focus on anti-submarine warfare ASW comes into play, creating a new layer of complexity in this undersea chess match. As the Pacific becomes an increasingly contested region, these submarines are more than just weapons, they are strategic assets. Their presence alone forces adversaries to reconsider their naval strategies, stretching resources and creating opportunities for allied forces. But how does China intend to counter this threat? Let's explore that next. China is no longer a passive observer in the undersea arms race. Recognizing the critical threat posed by U.S. submarines, the PLAN has been aggressively modernizing its anti-submarine warfare ASW capabilities, shifting from reliance on outdated systems to cutting-edge technology and platforms. At the heart of this transformation is China's investment in airborne ASW systems. Helicopters like the Z-8 and Z-9, which can be deployed from Type 075 amphibious assault ships, now play a pivotal role in sub-hunting missions. These helicopters are equipped with magnetic anomaly detection MAD systems, which detect subtle disturbances in the Earth's magnetic field caused by submarines. Although the range of MAD is relatively short, it provides precise positioning, which is invaluable when other sensors narrow down the search area. China has also been developing atomic magnetomic meters, which represent a significant leap forward in submarine detection. Unlike traditional MAD systems, these magnetometers can sense both the presence and direction of a submarine by analyzing energy level changes in atoms influenced by magnetic fields. This precision offers a significant edge in targeting submarines that might otherwise evade detection. The PLAN's Type 075 ships are another cornerstone of its ASW strategy. Often described as auxiliary aircraft carriers, these ships can deploy helicopters to form a mobile anti-submarine network around naval fleets. This network, according to Chinese state media, is designed to make it nearly impossible for even the most advanced U.S. submarines to operate undetected. Combined with improved Sonoboys devices dropped into the ocean to detect submarines through sound waves, China is creating a layered approach to submarine hunting. Training has also become a priority. The PLAN has acknowledged its historical shortcomings in ASW training and has taken steps to create more realistic scenarios. 
For instance, one exercise involved patrol aircraft relaying data to command ships, integrating it with other intelligence sources to confirm the presence of enemy submarines. This shows that China is not just investing in technology but also building operational expertise. These advancements mark a shift in China's naval strategy. No longer content with merely defending its waters, the PLAN is positioning itself to challenge U.S. dominance in contested regions. China's advancements in ASW technology are more than a show of military progress. They represent a strategic recalibration aimed at reshaping the dynamics of undersea warfare. By targeting U.S. nuclear submarines, China hopes to neutralize a critical threat to its naval operations, especially in a potential conflict over Taiwan. However, this ambitious strategy comes with significant hurdles. One of the biggest challenges for China is the complexity of ASW operations. Effective sub-hunting demands seamless coordination between multiple platforms, including aircraft, ships, and underwater sensors. Historically, China's rigid command and control structures have hindered this type of integration. The PLAN is attempting to address this by running more realistic and dynamic training scenarios, but it remains to be seen whether these efforts can match the flexibility and responsiveness of Western navies. Another critical factor is air superiority. To effectively deploy ASW platforms like helicopters and patrol aircraft, China must maintain control of the skies. In contested environments such as the South China Sea, Achieving this is far from guaranteed. Without aerial dominance, even the most advanced ASW systems could be rendered ineffective, leaving Chinese fleets vulnerable to U.S. submarines. For the U.S., these developments underscore the importance of staying ahead in the technological race. Countermeasures such as enhanced acoustic stealth, decoy systems, and autonomous underwater vehicles are likely to play a significant role in maintaining the edge. Additionally, the U.S. Navy's extensive experience and well-coordinated operations provide a significant advantage in real-world scenarios. The implications of this undersea rivalry extend beyond the Pacific. If China successfully enhances its ASW capabilities, it could embolden its naval strategy in other regions, challenging U.S. dominance in global waters. Conversely, if the U.S. maintains its submarine advantage, it could deter Chinese aggression particularly in sensitive areas like Taiwan. Ultimately, this battle beneath the waves highlights the evolving nature of warfare. It's no longer just about who has the biggest fleet, it's about who can adapt, innovate, and anticipate the next move in a high-stakes game of strategy and technology. As we've seen, the race for undersea dominance is intensifying. China's advancements in anti-submarine technology are reshaping the battlefield, challenging the U.S. Navy's long-held edge. Yet this race is far from over. The interplay of innovation, strategy, and operational readiness will determine the outcome. For now, the world watches as silent predators lurk below and new hunters take to the skies. This is a battle of brains and technology with implications that extend far beyond the ocean floor. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below also, you can visit our website spaceenews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.